going to show you how to find the average rate of change over a specific interval for linear, quadratic, and exponential functions. You're going to start by typing in the function as it's written using function notation. To find the average rate of change, we're going to use the slope formula. So we need to know the value of the function at negative 2 and the value of the function at 7. These are both the endpoints for our interval. So essentially what we're going to do is the slope formula. f of 7 subtract f of negative 2 over those two endpoints, 7 subtract negative 2. And I've used lots of parentheses here to kind of help you see it easier. All right, now let's generalize this and make it a little bit more simple. So the slope here is negative 4. And because this function is written in slope-intercept form, we can see that the slope right there is negative 4. So remember, average rate of change and slope are interchangeable words when you're talking about a linear function. All right, so I'm going to clear this part out, but I'm going to show you how we can write this in a more general sense. So I'm hitting that slash first to go ahead and create the fraction, and I'm going to set up the slope formula. I'm using the letters A and B, where A is my negative 2 and B is 7. It gives me the option to add a slider, so I'm going to click All, and you can see I have B and A. Now, these are in a reverse order, then like I just told you, here's A and here's B. So I'm going to click over here and drag to put them in the right order. So I just reorganize them. So A is first, and I can click right there and change that to negative 2. And B is my other endpoint, which is 7. And notice that this formula, that slope formula, that average rate of change formula, calculated for me to be negative 4. Let's look at another example. All right, so I'm going to change just this part right here to the quadratic function x squared plus 6x minus 1. Now, although this is not a linear function, we're still using that same formula for average rate of change. We don't have slope of a quadratic function because it's not a straight line, but we can find um, the average rate of change between two points. So my left endpoint is 3, and my right endpoint is 5. And I already have this part, f of b minus f of a, all divided by b minus a, and that gives me the average rate of change of 14. All right, last example. And this is an exponential function. When I type in 1 divided by 4, my cursor's in the bottom, so I'm hitting the arrow to the right to bring it out, out of that fraction. And to make that exponent, I hit Shift-6 on my keyboard, or you can go down here to this keypad and um, click this A to the B button and type in X as your variable. All right, let me change my endpoints. So negative 2 and 0. And I see that this is a really ugly decimal, but you'll notice that a fraction button appears over here on the left side. And I can click that, and there is my average rate of change, 3 over 32, or 3 seconds. 